All right, we're gonna try our, our light burst. Okay. That wasn't pretty, but it worked. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to In Shrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to get started on uh, the Nomad Highlands Hollow Halls. But before we do that, uh, I want to get this um, Beehive Smoker quest knocked out so I can actually start making honey because I keep running out of it, and I don't want to keep going after it um, for gathering, uh, the gathering way, the old-fashioned way, the hard way. Uh, so uh, with the Beehive Smoker thingies over there, what is this? This is our, yeah, this is our little... Um, cave farming area northeast cave that I farmed a bazillion times uh, which we're not going to do right now because we're just going to head right on over and see if we can get this beehive thing and get that going so yeah I'm excited to do uh, the hollow halls here in the nomad highlands should be a lot of fun uh, I have done it before uh, on multiplayer but this will be my first attempt doing it on single player all right, so it wants us to go right. Uh, oh, location above. Cut it out. Hmm. Oh, do we have to kill the the boss dude? Is that what's going on here? I didn't. I didn't even buff up for this. All of you, get out of here! All y'all. Maybe the maybe the boss guy's got the smoker on him. There he is. All right, let's get in nuke mode here. got to be the easiest boss in the game to kill. <laughs> Maybe might be a little tougher for melee, but for range, it's like, seriously? Take a night, crazy. There we go. Beehive smoker. Very nice. Let's head on back home. All right, let's go talk to Emily. Woohoo! Beehive smokers retrieved. There you go, sweetest treat. Uh, now to craft this thing, we need. We got everything. Um, why don't we make? Let's make two of these. Because I know we have to. I think we have to charge it with sugar and water. I believe. Uh. Oh, uh, unlocks the ability to craft a honey beehive. Oh shit! I'm uh, I thought I was making the beehives. <laughs> Damn it! We didn't need to do that. Okay. Well, let's put the smoker. Let's put this outside because you know it smokes. Um, how about if we put it right here? Does it smoke? Oh, I thought it smoked. All right, uh, shit. Well, that was a waste of resources. I mean, not that that stuff's a big deal, I suppose. Okay, now to make the beehive itself, honey beehive. Here we go. This is what I wanted to do. So yeah, let's let's make two of those, and we'll see how how that serves us. And then if we need to make more, then we will. Um, and for now, I think where do we want to put these actually? I guess we could put them right here. We'll put them right here. So, well, the thing is, is I'm going to do some more building stuff in that area. Uh, what about if we put them right down here? 
There we go. And then we need to put water and sugar in there. You know what? I don't, uh, I don't know if I have a whole bunch of sugar cane. I got lots of water. I guess we'll put these in here and never use them again. Split stack. All right, let's go see what we got for sugar cane. Yeah, we don't have a ton. Um, so it's probably something I'm going to have to go. <laughs> we got a hole in the kitchen floor. Uh, something we're going to have to go farm up off camera. So we want energy and we want sugar. And it takes two per. Yeah, let's just make it all and I'll have to go get some more sugar cane and probably should even plant some too. I do use sugar mostly for mining. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep eight of these with us. And we'll put five in each hive. Awesome. Okay. Got that taken care of. Uh, we got uh, big hair boss head. This is my head's chest. And we can put the hide, extra hide in here. All right. I think we're ready to do this. We have, uh, wh what we're going to bring with us is, um, I'm not going to use grapple plant, uh, which would boost our spirit. Instead, we're going to use ectoplasm soup, um, which will, well, you can see what it does. It takes away 50 of our health, but increase our damage by 10% against the hollow. And it also gives us life leech, um, which is really good too to help, you know, kind of keep us topped off health wise. But we're also going to do the fruit bowl to help with that. In addition, we'll do the usual meat wrap and the glow soup too. I have two stacks of greater skull summoning vessels. Uh, I was able to farm those from the tomb way out east by one of my um, gold chests. In fact, you know what we need to do now that I think about it? We need to go pick that chest up, this one here, because I don't have any altars left and I want to put one up at the hollow halls dungeon which i think is right here yeah so since we're gonna do that we might as well run that crypt really quickly just because i wanted to show it to you guys anyways i haven't run the whole thing on camera it's not too terribly long um i have a feeling like i'm missing something i probably am but let's just head up, let's just head over there and get that knocked out real quick Might as well check the chest again. Metal star mace. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I was going to make another one of these, but we can do that. We'll, we'll go back to the base one more time before we head to the hollow halls itself. Yeah, this dungeon here is, or, or I guess it's not really a dungeon, it's a crypt, is really uh, good to farm. And what I was actually doing is I was just carrying a bunch of the, the cheapy, you know, bombs with me to clear all this. Uh, which I didn't bring this time. I've got the expensive ones, but I don't want to use the expensive ones on this. Plus, you know, it gives us a little more sand, which we do use for crafting purposes. But yeah, if you want a place at, that's not in the hollow halls itself to farm these high-end... Um, uh, summoning vessels, this is a really good place to do it. And it's these caster guys that drop it. Unbelievable. I was pressing the, my, my right mouse button to bring that fucking shield up, and it wasn't coming up. Alright, god damn it. Now we're going to have to go uh, to the spire to get back down there, which is not that big of a deal.
Well, the, the other kind of stupid thing I'm doing is I'm not buffing, and these are level 30 enemies. And they're hollows, so we might as well take that. Might as well just do the whole kit and caboodle. We don't need... Oh! I need to get um, elixirs, too. I've got a bunch at home. I just must have accidentally put them back in the in the chest. I can't say for a certainty that I've never been killed in this crypt, but it doesn't, doesn't happen very often. It just so happens to have happened on camera. Kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but here again, you know, I, I come down here fully buffed because these are dangerous mofos. Uh, I just forgot to do it. So there you go. Let's pop one of these again. Where's that fucking uh, centurion bastard? He's the really dangerous one. I don't think we killed him, I'm not sure. Yeah, so we just picked up five greater skull summoning vessels from him and another five from him okay so anyway this is the you know this is where you come down and then if the first thing you want to do is turn left and then turn left again and we have a silver chest in here to loot with a shit bow okay and then that's all that's on this end then uh I'm a little bit nervous about where that guy went. Uh, right here is a silver coffin chest. And we'll... Uh, yeah, no, we want to go this way. Another silver chest here. There he is. Yeah, these bitches are level 30, man. I don't want to mess around with them. Okay, and then you come all the way here, and there's usually a guy right there. A couple more guys in this room. There we go. Four more greater skull vessels. All right. And then we come into this room. There's a dude way down there. Catch. Another silver chest here. Elder trousers. It's worth uh, breaking the the jars in this room because, um, as you can see, they can have pretty high-end potions in them, and they also have um, the alchemy base stuff. Can't remember what it's called, but it's the the base stuff that you have to use for a lot of the high-end recipes. Um, now, there's also usually a guy back in here too. This is the main chest room. Maybe he came out. Okay, yeah, so let's break these jars and these jars. Yeah, alchemical base. That's what I was talking about. Got the, <clears throat> a clean bandage there, some more paper. And then... I guess that was the guy that's usually in here. He must have come out. And this is the main chest. Uh, whoops. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we got uh, we pulled a total of 14 greater skull summoning vessels out of here, and you know sometimes this loot can be legendaries, of course. This time we kind of got shitty stuff, but it's okay. And some tin bars, bronze bars, one alchemical base, and I think we picked up a 
health potion too, if I remember right. And it's not in the shroud, so you can just teleport right out of here, which is nice. Okay, let's go back home, get repaired, make uh, an altar that we can take with us and set down at the Highlands Hollow Halls, and we'll get stuck in with this. Okay, let's make this our active quest. And we are at the Highlands Spire here. And we're basically going to go this way. Let's do it. You know, I think, if I recall correctly, I might be able to cross over through this cave here. Maybe? Oh, this is a route. Dang. That's another point, man. See the dog fall down the hole there? <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, this one never showed up on the map. You know, come to think of it, there are probably maybe even more roots than this left. I stuck or something? Fantastic, man. I thought we were done with skill points. Didn't we just kill you? Oh, there's a spawner there. So, um, skills. We have one point. Look at that. Um, we could put it into spirit. And if we get another one, we could get to intelligence. That's a spirit. That's a spirit. That's a spirit. Don't really care about dark arts. Strength doesn't do us a damn bit of good, really, to speak of. Um, we could, I mean, more endurance doesn't suck. Increase base stamina regeneration by 50%. Oh, no, that's, that's four points. All right, increases endurance attribute by one. I think, I mean, I'm pretty happy with, with my stamina for this build. I think, why don't we do this? Why don't we... Why don't we unlock this spirit so that if we do come across another point, uh, we can get another point of intelligence. I think that's what we'll do. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna go back home again, <laughs> drop this shit off, and sleep because it's nighttime anyway. And then I'll meet you guys back at the spire and we'll... We'll start out again. That was a distraction, but it was a good distraction because it got us another point. All right. Uh, we're going to actually go this way now. Since that cave that we were in is actually not a pass-through cave. And we have 3,000 meters to our destination. That's, yeah. Okay, so I'll just see you guys over there. All right, I have to remember how to get here. <laughs> um, we came to this flame sanctum. We got a guy over here that wants to mix it up. So... Uh, do we 
go up this way, maybe. I've only been here once on multiplayer. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, I think this is right. This looks correct. There it is. Alright, so we're going to put down our altar and then I'm going to go back home because guess what I forgot to do? Make the key. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. No siree. We have everything we need to make it. I just need to make it. And since we're here, might as well drop some more stuff off. This is like, it's taken us like three attempts to start this now, hasn't it? This will be our third attempt. Uh, we don't need sparks. All right, let's talk to you. Nomad Highlands Bone Key. Boom. It's a done deal. Okay. And I was going to also get some elixirs too whilst we're here. Now I think we have everything we need. Uh, I guess you can go down there. We got arrows. We got campfires for rest and bonus if we die. And I think we're good. How are we doing on food? We got six glow soups, six pita breads. I mean, if we need more than that, we're doing something wrong, but let's make three more of those and three more of those. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. We have full rested. Let's head back. Now, this is a long dungeon, and uh, this is most, like you know, like it's always been, actually, when I do this on single player. Uh, this is going to have to be a multi-part episode. There's no way I'm going to be able to knock this out in uh, an episode, and we're already 30 minutes into this one anyway. So, yeah, it's going to be, I don't know, it'll be as long as it'll be. Put it that way. Okay, so, some of these places have secrets. I may remember where some of them are. I may not. We'll just have to see how that goes. Let's go ahead and make sure we... What do we have? We've got Blazing Skin and Flask of the Fell. Let's get that going. Um, let's get a fra uh, Prayer of the Flame Scroll. And we have all of our food buffs. Okay, so I think we're as buffed up as we can be. I am going to take time to break vases. I might edit some of that out. We'll see how things go, but it's just really worth doing. Um, so yeah, we are going to do it. All right. We're going to have to fight a small starter group here. Yeah, there they are. Including a, a sickle dude. Okay, so if things get really rough for us, we can we can cheese up here if we have to. Hey, let's get this party started. Oh, I love that stun. That's really going to come in handy. What's that skill called? It's called, uh, uh, where the hell is that at? Terror. On a critical hit with a spell, the target will be stunned for four seconds. That's going to help a lot. Okay, we still have some dudes over here. Suck it, man. All right. I don't think there's anything back there. So my plan 
is to, you know, use the the fireball as much as we can. But the other thing that I've seen done to uh, to pretty great effect is the light burst. Because this will this does like a little mini stun too. So if we get surrounded, um, you know, we can we can also use this to to help out as well. Um, but you know, of course, our fireball spell is going to be our main weapon throughout this whole thing. All right, don't see anything there. No vases there. Don't think there's any secrets back here. I, I'm not going to remember where all the secrets are either, by the way. So I'm going to throw that out there right now. <laughs> we'll look for them. And the thing is, too, is I've, you know, I kind of get the secrets in here mixed up with the ones in the Kindle Ways, those in particular. So, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just do the best we can. Um, one thing you can do if you're interested, you can blow those up and then you can get a whole shit ton of old books. Uh, you know, if you need those as a resource. Let's repair. We'll break those and then we got an ice flask right here, some arrows, and I don't care about the water so much. Really anything there? We do have a a redstone here, and I yeah, I think I I will put a campfire down here. One thing I have to remember to not to do is break all the furniture in these areas because they do contribute to a rested bonus. So I'm putting that down in case we die. Um, then we can get at least some of our rested bonus back. Uh, I guess we'll put more of these down here for now. We don't really need the torch down here because I'm gonna I'm gonna be using glow potions when we get into the real dark areas anyway. Okay. Check this. in there. Some arrows. And let's break all this stuff. Okay, got another ice potion and some arrows out of that deal. Some more red brick material. That all just looks like bones and wood. Well, you know what? I'll just pick it up for now. In case we do run out of campfires. And then I'll, we'll end up, you know, probably dropping some of it later. Now. There's supposed to be, I think... Glad I thought about this, but we got too much further away. I think there's maybe a secret door maybe behind here. Look at that. All right. Consumables chest with a greater mana potion. We'll take it. I'm, like I said, I'm glad I remembered to check that before we got too far along. Okay, so what do we got going on in here? Break those. We have a what I'm going to call our cheese places, places we can retreat to if things get too rough. Uh, we are a caster, a squishy caster, so. I'm not ashamed to uh, use cheese places if, we, if that's what we need to do to stay alive. <laughs> okay, 
Those are just stamina orbs. Nice. Prayer of the Flame. And it looks like we unlocked two mana potions over here. That's why it's worth doing this. Just some bones there. Okay, so um, we got a guy down here. Guy over here. guy on that shelf. And he's down. We want those ectoplasm shards um, because we can use it to make the next level of soup. Now, it seems to me like there may have been something up here. Go ahead and pop a, an orb. Hmm. Is it over here? Alright, maybe that's in a different location, but I thought there was some kind of a secret something or other up that way. Go here. Oh, damn it. That's not what I meant to do. What the hell was that? Weird sound pop. There we go. Okay, let's lob a fireball down here and see if it yields anything. Break those. That looks like it might be a lootable coffin. No, it's not. Okay, I couldn't tell for sure. Right, we have a scroll of some sort right here. Prayer of the Flame. I love it. I love it. Just some twigs there. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, what I'm going to do... When we get, you know, a big group like that on us, we're going to do light burst, but I, I pretty much annihilated those mofos. <laughs> I mean, we are maybe just a little bit... Well, no, actually, we're probably a lot of bit over-leveled for this dungeon, but... In, in hindsight, I probably should have tried to do this a little sooner, but... Because, you know, we're technically... We're, we're really geared up for the Kendall Waste. But, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I still, I'm still not expecting this to be a walk in the park, but we'll see. But I am, I am actually kicking the crap out of these guys. I suppose what I should have done is, we should have done this dungeon while I was in the Archmage gear. You know, I guess I was just thinking that this place is, is pretty long and challenging. Here's a secret. That I wanted to be, you know, fully decked out for it, but... Um... Oh, I was gonna say, is, it, is there something in here? Uh, there we go. Nice, silver chest. Sinister Crescent Wand. Experience scroll? You know, I was, um... 
Is there anything behind there? I was talking about the experience scrolls not being any good to us, but actually somebody on the multiplayer was saying to hang on to them because then when they come out with another update, you know, if you want to continue on that character, then you can use them again. Yeah, I don't think there's anything back here. Okay. Okay, so we came down from that way. And uh, I guess we're going this way. There's a big old group of them right there. Okay, let's nuke him. They're dead. Big health potion. Red bricks material. I don't think there's anything over that way. Ice potion there. Back to plasm shards. And a scroll. Prayer of the flame. I love it. You know it. Spiders are kind of creepy. Nothing over here. Some arrows. Giant bone arrows. Nice. Okay, let's open this door. Ah, this is the big drop. Yep. Okay. Right. Let's, um... Okay, let's rebuff. Um, 14 minutes left on Prayer of the Flame. I don't think there's anything over there. As far as I remember. Okay, so we could play this one of two ways. We could either go down one little section at a time, take the bats out along the way until we get a little closer down and then try and hit the the chest that has the blocks in it. Or we could just go all the way down. Um, but I think we're going to do plan A. And I, as far as I know, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think there's anything back in these areas here. Let's, let's just look. But I'm pretty sure there isn't. Yeah, I don't think there is. Okay. Let's go down to the next part. We're not going to loot those guys. Let's look around. There is actually a room here. Does it go anywhere? That's not normal rubble. That's like hard stone. So I'm going to say probably not. Because usually, you know, they would have um, rubble there if it was something they wanted you to dig through. Does it 
doesn't really look like there's anything all over there. Alright, let's drop down to here. And we're going to aim for the top of this tower here. Well, that wasn't the best aiming job, was it? Are those guys even coming after us? Yeah, he is. That's okay. We can just... Nope! Oh, okay. No! God damn it! Sometimes I hit the right mouse button and it... Get out of here. All right, well, we got our first rune of 578 million that we got to get. Um, I think we can get back up there. It's just that sometimes I don't, you know, cancel the glider on time and it causes problems. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay. All right, we're going to try our, our light burst. This would be easier on a flat surface. Okay. Okay. That wasn't pretty, but it worked. <laughs> we survived. Anyway. And since we're up here, uh, we're good, right? Okay. We might as well check all these. Not really seeing anything substantial. Okay. Let's see if we can get back up there to get that chest, since I royally screwed it up there. Flask of the Fell, it looks like. And nothing there. All right, so, um, probably what we're gonna have to do is Well, here, let's try this. Okay, we'll get to there. Come around here. There we go. And we have the ectoplasm block. Okay. I think too sometimes I um I get a little confused and I hit the right mouse button instead of the space bar to cancel the flight and that kind of plays into some of my noobness too. I guess since we're here we might as well go for this. Oh, there's the thing there. Get out of here. Alright, so there isn't really anything else up here then. Um, while we're up here though, are there any more of the unlock runes that we can see at this level? And the answer to that is no. 
So I think that's all we need to get for those from up here. We have to find three more to unlock the doors you can see down there. Um, all right, let's go back this way. Go down to here. Uh, nothing real good. Um, I want to kind of do a little bit of nuke sniping before we go all the way down. Uh, how about if we get the right thingy on? a silver chest down there. Alright, there's a dude down that way. So soften him up with a little AoE blast. Maybe not. nothing in here I guess this is the pathway to get up there to get to the chest that's probably because we're kind of working this in reverse a little bit all right can we get over here okay well I guess we're going down down to here anyway A fireball way over that way and there's some guys down here too get wrecked okay I guess it's safe for us to grab this Fowler chest. Not interested. Okay, so if we get into trouble, we can come back here and retreat. That's our cheese location. Light burst. Alright, let's see if we can nuke some of these bats. Bunch of bad guys down there. Okay. Let's go down this way. Is that a dude over there? Guess not. Okay, there are a bunch of guys over here. Let's deal with them. And some dudes over here too, it looks like. Did we kill the centurion dude over there? Alright, two more to go. there's anything up here or not probably just the way to get up to the top there skull vessels okay I want to clear out some stuff particularly non eternal spells because they just clutter up my menu we don't need the Fowler's chest we don't need this I'm going to get rid of these two just because I don't like them. Bone channel two. Yeah. Again, they just clutter up my 
my staff menu. We'll keep the wood. Um, yeah, I think we'll keep the rest of this. Except for this. We don't need that. This, how many? I got nine lockpicks, yeah. We have lots of stacks of this stuff back at the base. I will hang on to the wood for the for the moment, just in case we lose our campfire blocks, you know. Uh, all right, so do I see some dudes moving around up there? Didn't quite make it all the way over there. Okay, let's try it one more time. And if not, we'll just have to move closer. Yeah. Okay. I think we just need to move closer. Uh, I... Sounds like I hear bad guys. There's just one skelly right here. Okay, let's go this way. Is there something stuck in the in the thing there? Oh, yeah, don't step in the lava. That's not a good idea. That's just a dead bat. Apparently we already came back here. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, so we still have to find two more of these things. Where the hell are they at? Oh, there's one. Oh, there they are right there. Oh, right, I remember this. Okay, we got to go up there and then jump down and kind of swoop down to grab those things. And we do need to be careful we don't land right in that lava stuff in the process. So let's head over this way. I guess this is the right way to go. Consumable chest. Nothing back there. Ooh. Well, for a minute there, I thought that was a secret door, but it's not. Oh! Um, do we need to go that way? I don't think we do. All right. That kind of hurt. Let's get rid of this normal light burst. Uh, here. Yeah, don't delete the eternal spell. That would uh, not be a fun experience. Don't give a shit about a Fowler helmet. We're deleting it. Okay, we're through. There's going to be, for those of you who don't know, and most of you probably do, but there's going to be another room like this that's going to be even larger that we're going to have to fly all the way around, up and down, left and right, and find a whole crap ton of the... Um, a rune thingies to unlock the door. Alright, let's grab uh, you. And put you down there. I'm going to um, try not to break the furniture. So we get a maximum rested bonus. I don't think the 
vases count for that. Is there anything over here? There's a thing, a bone and some water, but no. Here, I'll take the arrows and the bandit bandage. Okay. And a greater health potion. Doesn't suck. And I think that's it. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And we're going to pick up right where we left off in the next episode. And continue on here in the Nomad Highlands Hollow Halls. We are um, we're doing better than I was expecting us to do. So we might be able to knock this whole thing out in... Uh, whatever. Uh, in the next episode, we'll just have to see how things go. But we still have a lot of dungeon left, too. So with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.